What was that? What are these things? They're living letters? being attacked by talking letter monster things. By talking what? They have teeth and fire. Letter monsters? If we split up, we can take them. How many could there even be? Mm, 26, max. All right, we'll split up and take them on ourselves. Think you can just pop right into this world, into my vents, and get away with it? I'll show you. Too bad your little eye friend isn't here, because then you could all spell out die. Ah! Oh, get off me! Ah! Stay still and let me kill you already. I'm not really a big fan of letters. More of a braille man myself. And I definitely don't enjoy twerps like you invading my home. So there might be plenty of balls here, but I think you'd work best. Batter up! Hey there, nice teeth. You know, it's a shame I'm gonna have to kill you. Growing up on the farm, I never really learned to read good. But nobody comes in here and disrespects my new family. So either you give up now, or you're in for a whole world of hurt, buddy. We have to send these things back where they came from. I'm working on it. Being a coward, fight me! In! Is that all you have to say? I think that's all he can say. From what I've ever heard, it seems like these things can only say their own letters. Sure, they can spell whatever they need, but with only six of them around, their options are, well, pretty limited. Luckily, I've built a contraption that can translate nearly every language. It should be able to decipher what these letters are really trying to say. Here, speak. In, in, uh, in, 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 in. Apparently, these alphabet creatures come from another world. The letter F is a ruthless bully and nemesis to all letters. He is driven by the need to overpower everyone in his path. The mighty letter Z is their home planet and contains an ultimate power. It can even send the letters back and forth through time. But F wanted to test Z's limits. Taking over one planet wasn't going to be enough for him, so he decided to see if Z could take him farther to another universe altogether. M is a member of a group of powerful heroic letters, L-M-N-O-P, who wield mysterious punctuation gems that give them super strength. N thought his was enough to take on F alone, but he was wrong. With his gem gone, M lost his strength. And with the gem in his hands, F gave the power to open up a portal to our world, bringing all the letters he had captured with him. But F wasn't always evil. When they were all young lowercase letters, they all seemed to get along. That is, of course, until L and O decided to pick on poor N. L launched O like a slingshot towards the sad little letter 
and then mocked his insignificance. F, being the good friend he was, he corralled up the letters A, R, and T to help him spell fart. The gross flatulence as a result was loud and stinky enough to be heard throughout the entire alphabet, even killing H. But L and O would not be made fools of. They smacked F around, stomping and squashing him. It was so sad that the tears F cried became hard and crystallized into the punctuation gems we know today. They pushed F and R, I, C, and K together, forcing him to spell one of the only forbidden words in the dictionary. Frick. The other letters were disgusting. How could he? They all teamed up to beat up F even more, punching him around, blasting out his teeth, even tripping him. F continued to cry. His final tear became the question mark crystal, the last gem to be completed. That's when everyone turned on F, even his former friend N. So he ran away to the mountain in solitude. As the years passed, F grew older and more bitter, and started preparing his scheme. Deep down, F wasn't evil. He was lonely and heartbroken, and wanted nothing more than to be loved once again by his old friends. And if this world refused to accept him, he would be forced to find another. Well, now I kind of feel bad for the guy. But still, we need to stop that before it's too late. Man! Red, you have a way to teleport them back, right? I'm still working on it. Stole them. Don't worry, Ed. Your new rainbow friend, Blue, will protect you. Send you all back where you came from. <laughs>